F-14 Tomcat, a legend, a fighter unlike any other. With its razor-sharp wings and deadly precision, it dominated the skies for decades. With its initial flight on December 21, 1970, and its introduction into U.S. Navy service on September 22, 1974, the Grumman F-14 Tomcat has a rich and lengthy history of service with both the Iranian Air Forces and the U.S. Navy. Yup, and some Hollywood films, like Executive Decision, Top Gun, The Final Countdown, and of course Top Gun Maverick. However, the reason the Tomcat became a cinematic star was its unique, macho naval fighter with a large radar and the capacity to tow everything from recon pods to long-range missiles and eventually smart bombs. The U.S. Navy eventually retired the Tomcat in 2006 after it reached the limits of its roughly 1960s design. However, Iran continued to operate the type in spite of the sanctions. Today, we delve into five amazing facts why the F-14 Tomcat is a badass fighter jet. Before we explore the groundbreaking technology, the unmatched firepower, and legacy of the F-14, hit the subscribe button so you won't miss our daily video uploaded every day. Plus a bonus short clip about one of the last F-14 that took off and land in a carrier. So watch the video until end. Don't forget to like our video today. Thanks. The F-14 Tomcat was a supersonic, twin-engine, variable sweep wing jet fighter that dominated the skies for decades. Designed for the U.S. Navy, it patrolled the skies from aircraft carriers, protecting them from enemy aircraft and missiles. Its most iconic feature, variable sweep wings. These wings could adjust positions for high-speed flight, swept back, or better maneuverability, swept forward, during combat situations. Packed with both long-range missiles for intercepting enemy bombers and shorter-range missiles for dogfights, it is a fleet defender, fast, agile, long-range, and can launch a long-range missile, the AIM-54 Phoenix. Retired in 2006, it remains a symbol of American technological prowess and a cherished memory for pilots who flew this remarkable aircraft. Here are the five amazing facts of the F-14 Tomcat. 1. The ANAWG-9 radar was originally installed on the F-14. The ANAWG-9 was a weapons control system that could track 24 targets at a maximum range of over 200 miles and fire up to six missiles at specific targets. It was more than just a radar. But because the radar was mechanically scanned, the officer in the back seat, the radar intercept officer, would have to operate the radar to point at the correct spot in the sky in order to find the right targets. Hughes Aircraft Corporation upgraded the ANAWG-9 for the D model of the Tomcat to the ANAPG-71 radar, despite the fact that the ANAWG-9 set the standard for Western fighter radars until the F-22 Raptor in 2005. Among these improvements were efforts to provide resistance to jamming and to improve the processors for more accurate target finding. The D-model Tomcats were delivered completely to the U.S. Navy. 2. The F-14 Tomcat was designed to be based on the AIM-54 missile, even though it was not shown in any of the previously named films. When situations were right, the weapon, which had its own radar, could be launched more than 100 miles in the direction of a bomber or cruise missile in a ballistic trajectory. After receiving mid-course Tomcat guidance, the weapon would then turn on its own radar and begin to close in. The F-14 Tomcat was able to fire up to six AIM-54 Phoenix missiles nearly simultaneously. Moreover, in an emergency, the missile might be directed onto closer targets, as it was done against the Iraqis during the Iran-Iraq War in the 1980s. 3. The Grumman F-14 Tomcat swing wings are the first thing that catch the eye about aircraft. Ultimately, the F-14 Tomcat was still difficult to land on an aircraft carrier, but at least they were manageable. The Tomcat was designed with variable sweep swing wings to provide a large wing area for landing with agility behind the small carrier at 20 degrees and 64 feet of wingspan, but then pull back into more of a delta shape for high-speed bursts for intercepts with the wings at 68 degrees and only 38 feet of wingspan. Future aircraft designs, such as the FA-18F and the Super Hornet, were able to benefit from computer-aided design which allowed its wings to more effectively meet naval aviation standards without the need for costly, large variable sweep wings. 4. Yup, the F-14 Tomcat served as a platform for reconnaissance as well. Recall that the U.S. naval aviation desperately needed a reconnaissance capability for the majority of the Tomcat's existence because neither infrared pods nor digital cameras were available at the time. In fact, as late as 2002, 
The F-14 Tomcat was conducting combat missions while acting as an eagle eye in the sky and filming Taliban positions. A panorama or frame camera and an infrared reconnaissance camera were carried by the TARPS pod. The TARPS pod was eventually digitized, according to MATS, a reliable source on the Tomcat. Consequently, more precise ground assault operations could be made possible by the digital transmission of GPS locations and photos to other aircraft. 5. The late U.S. Navy Captain Dale, Snort, Snodgrass diverted funds intended for the installation of the AIM-120 Air-2-Air -Air missile on the F-14 and instead installed a lantern infrared pod, as recounted by former F-14 Rio and Navy Public Affairs Officer Ward Carroll in the documentary Tomcat Tales. By essentially converting the F-14 Tomcat into a smart bomber, Snodgrass was able to execute precise strikes with bombs that were guided by GPS and lasers. Eventually, the F-A-18E F Super Hornet, which took the position of the F-14 Tomcat, had to match the F-14's larger display and range. In addition, the Tomcat was converted from having to sit quietly and deal with insignificant to non-existent air threats to directing airstrikes from the 1999 Kosovo War to the Global War on Terror. However, the 1960s design of the Tomcat would eventually come with high maintainability requirements and aging air-to-air -air missiles that would limit its ability to evolve in a challenging budget environment. After the collapse of the Soviet Union, the U.S. Navy wanted an aircraft that was more digital, easier to maintain, and capable of an electronic attack variant. They were not concerned about former Soviet bombers arriving with cruise missiles. The Super Hornet, an enlarged version of the F-A-18 design, satisfied the requirements, and the Tomcat was dutifully retired in autumn 2006. By the way, here is a bonus short clip of F-14 last takeoff and landing in a carrier. On July 28, 2006, the last eight Tomcats in service, from Squadron VF-31 Tomcatters, made their historic last landings and takeoffs from the USS Theodore Roosevelt. There you have it. Five amazing facts about the F-14 Tomcat, a badass fighter jet. I hope you enjoyed our video. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and like our video. Have you wondered why fighter pilots say Fox 1 or Fox number when they launch their missile? You can click the left video to watch or click any one of the two videos featured before this video ends. Enjoy watching. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.